Hi there. I'm Mitch White, founder of MogianMonster.com. I'm up here in one of my favorite places and uh, experiencing the wonderful outdoors. I've been chasing the Mogion Monster now, which is Arizona's Bigfoot, for uh, just about five years. I started growing this beard just about the same time I started chasing the monster, so you can tell I've been at it for quite a while. The forest fires have been raging nearby. There's one about uh, 40 miles to the north of us called Bull Run. Uh, it's headed north though, the winds are carrying it north, so right now we're not in any danger. But we're losing valuable Bigfoot territory. Then to the uh, northwest of us, probably about 60 miles, is the uh, Gladiator Fire. And it's, uh, it's burning pretty big and pretty hot. Uh, it is taking out a major Bigfoot area uh, around Crown King. There was uh, a lot of sightings in there, uh, especially around the Alligator Mine and, and uh, that area. And it, it grieves me that the forest is burning there also. We're very quickly losing our forest resources, the forest fires. Uh, the forest folks are doing what they can to save it, but the best way is not to get forest fires in the first place. Uh, please watch your, your fires. Uh, if you're going to leave them for just a little while and, and walk down to the next campsite site or whatever, put it out. I'm up here, it's uh, May, and I'm up here uh, chasing the Mogollon monster right now. Behind me, in about so oh, three, four miles, I have some uh, game cameras that I've put up in, in the area where we spotted a huge lion mount, or a mountain lion. Um, this is also the same area where we've had uh, numerous sightings and numerous events, numerous vocalizations. Uh, we call it the hot zone. Uh, it's, it's a very interesting area. And even if you don't believe in Bigfoot, if you watch all of the videos, you've got to say something strange is going on up there. Now, I believe that there are Bigfoot in the area. In fact, I have seen them. I have not been able to capture them with that million dollar photo yet. Uh, it is a, a challenge because um, the equipment that we're working with right now does not react as quickly as uh, the human mind or the human eye. Um, so, unless you've got a camera already running, if you spot something, within a few seconds it's gone, and that's what it takes to turn the cameras on. Uh, we will endeavor to continue chasing the Mogollon monster uh, until we get that million dollar photo or whatever. Um, we do have squash blobs, and uh, you know we have some that are very, very good squash blobs and then we have one photo that uh, is not a squash blob it's it's the real thing you can see the eyelids you can see the the eyelashes and stuff like that so um, of course it's kind of funny because you get complained at if you post your squash blobs but you <laughs> you start getting called a fraud and so forth if you post your real good stuff. Uh, <laughs> because there are people out there that just really don't want to believe. Uh, they just, for some reason, won't accept it. And if I pulled a body out of here and provided a body, <laughs> they still wouldn't believe it. Um, it's just kind of funny that's how it operates. So I'm going to continue uh, searching these hills and I'm going to try to grow into some other areas now that these forest fires have been active 
uh, I believe I know where some of these areas will will be pushed. Um, the Bigfoot are going to be pushed into to new areas. They need lots of water, lots of food, uh, lots of vegetation to hide, and the ver and lack of man. And so, if you can find those four areas, you stand a good chance of finding something that indicates Bigfoot is there. Uh, however, with all these forest fires, the areas are getting smaller and smaller, and uh, so therefore, you know, running into one is more and more of a chance. So, you know, we're going to try to be ready for that. Um, about a hundred yards to my, my left, uh, a camp camper has a couple of dogs, and they're very, very noisy. Well, the campers are too. You can hear them. Uh, just yelling back and forth at each other, and then the dogs are constantly barking and stuff like that. Um, this area here, the, the forest rangers have reported uh, about 15 dogs missing this year. Um, they, they don't know why. They're just missing. And, you know, when you bring your dog up here, you got to make sure you watch them very carefully. Now, I'm not saying the Bigfoot's going to get them, but I know for sure there are bear in here, and I know for sure there are big cats in here. Um, I photographed a, a humongous mountain lion uh, not just about two miles from here, and a mountain lion will take a dog in a heartbeat. So, if we hear something tonight, uh, you know, a big wreck that's going on. It's probably a dog getting drug off into the, the mountains, so um, that might be interesting. I hope it doesn't happen, but we're in the area where it very well could happen. The following books and DVDs are available at Amazon.com, CreateSpace.com, and Southwest Publications, or you can go to your local bookstore or dealer and order them. Thank you. We have The Mogollon Monster, Arizona's Bigfoot. More Mogollon Monster, Arizona's Bigfoot. Bigfoot Shelters and Nests. Bigfoot Documentary, Part 1. Bigfoot Documentary Part 2 Close Encounters Bigfoot Research 2009 Bigfoot Research 2010 Part 1 Bigfoot Research 2010 Part 2 and Bigfoot Research 2010 Part 3 Chasing the Mogollon Monster Arizona's Bigfoot have you ever seen a UFO? <laughs> the Round Valley Miracle, a book of angels and cowboys. Superstition Mountain Photos and Points of Interest. The Lost Dutchman Gold Mine Research and Related Stories, Volume 1. The Continuing Search for the Lost Dutchman's Gold Mine. Reading Treasure Maps, Signs and Symbols. Gold panning equipment, build your own. Backyard gold panning, the perfect part-time job. Desert gold. Blood gold in the Superstition Mountains. Blood gold in the Superstition Mountains, the return. The SKS 762x39mm rifle. ATVs build your own from scratch and Esperanza breathe <laughs>